What's up, guys? Inaugural post on the new Instagram page. I'm very honored, very lucky. We got my man, Chairman Luke, on the phone. But today we're talking about something very important. We're talking about fucking hangovers. It's pain, and you will suffer. But I have a couple of things that I use to fucking get through my hangovers and what Luke does to cure his. Preface, we're not fucking doctors, right? We have to say shit like that, right? So we don't get this pace, man? Sure. Stussy Yetta's all the time is Yetta time, right? Ooh, Wiggers are coming back. Did they ever leave? Did they ever leave? Really? I mean, I always thought that you were a Wigger and I've always loved you. No, I love you because of it. Y'all gotta open up your third eye and start accepting people for who they are. But <laughs> back to the Yodas. Size 11. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like these that much. Sterling Ruby. Vans. They're big ol'. Alright. Moving on. Ooh, HBA denim. These are cool. We got the double... What the fuck is up with this? So you can, you can, like, you and the homie can, like, both be in it at the same time? Is that what that's for? Why do you assume the homie every time? What do you mean? Who else are you gonna fucking ride in your HBA denim with? Me and Mook, Mook in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Size 32, 2007 Supreme Letterman. We got, this is, look at this shit, real New York shit. Wow. New York, 1994. Wow, what an ancient era. Oh, the Heem jersey. Heem team, where you at? This is a dangerous substance. And Hennessy is a blight on the black community. I'm calling it now. I'm gonna get some flack on that. Don't shake your fucking head, all right? Oh, it's a size large. This is the good shit. Martine, Calvin Klein, Raph, button down. Look at the buttons. Get a close up on the buttons. Look at those things. They look to be some type of rare material, perhaps. Pearl, who knows? Looks like a medium or something. M65 military supreme jacket. For all you motherfuckers that are wearing supreme, when you guys go get drafted into the world conflict, this is what you're gonna have to wear. Ugh. Um, hangovers. They suck. They're horrible. But in the age of tomorrow, there are ways to get around it. Now, what do you do to get over a hangover, Luke? See, now, that is a very common way to deal with the hangover. This is how people have done it for time immemorial. You drink some water before you go to sleep and you eat some fucking food, but it's the future now. I'm about to put y'all on with some fucking game that actually fucking works. Let me preface this by saying, one, I'm not a fucking doctor. Talk to your fucking doctor or a physician or whatever, but all the shit that I'm about to say, one, Two, this is not going to absolve you of all of your fucking sins, all right? You have sinned, all right, and the gods are punishing you for your overindulgence. This is going to get you 70% back. 70%. That's good when you've been drinking like 38 Negronis. One, dihydromethacine. So what this does is that it helps the GABA receptors in your brain, all right? Don't you know how you have fucking anxiety after you've drunken a lot? That's because your dopamine levels and all of your shit is out of whack because your body has been flooded with sugar and stuff. Your brain is freaking out because you've been having too much fun body-wise. And that's why you have the anxiety. And then, you know, you're laying in bed and you're like, holy shit, I'm a piece of shit. This helps with that. It's not going to cure that because you are a piece of shit, but this will help with that. Scientifically proven, you can look at the fucking papers. That actually fucking works. Next, L-cystine. When you fucking drink a bunch of booze, your body converts all that into acetaldehyde inside of your stomach and it's a poison and your liver is fighting for its fucking life. This just helps with the breakdown of that. There's nothing really crazy. It's just to help the metabolization of all the fucking booze. Next, milk thistle. Once again, liver health, bro. Metabolization of your liver. You gotta protect your fucking liver. You don't wanna wake up one day in your 50s and have yellow skin and look like the motherfucker from Sin City. This is with the metabolization and like, you know, help you fight 
get cirrhosis and shit because you're getting drunk all the time and you're an awful person. And last fucking one, turmeric, anti-inflammatory. This speaks for itself. I don't really even have to speak on this. Whenever I have been getting drunk, yes, I have been taking this before I go to sleep every night. And it helps so fucking much, I gotta say. Like, I wouldn't fucking speak on it if I really did not think that it had helped me. I think beyond this little vitamin stack right here, personally, I like to go run or something. I try and work out, honestly. You don't ever work out when you're hungover? I do, but I hate it. Well, I mean, you hate it, but doesn't it make you feel better? Not especially, no. A little run, fucking go get some pho, fluids. The thing is that it has too much sugar in it, and that's why you're in trouble in the first place. All of this shit is to help with the fact that your body is like overloaded with too much sugar, and it's fighting for its life. You're like putting yourself in the diabetic shock every single time that you drink, and that's why you feel awful. So, this is what I fucking take. This is some futuristic shit. Once again, not a fucking doctor. Helps me. I don't know what the fuck's gonna do to y'all. Consult your physicians before you start taking any types of supplements. But I'd be feeling fucking fine in the morning after I get like super, super drunk and I'm able to operate at a pretty fucking high level. But that's fucking it. Let us know what the fuck your your little hangover cures are in the comments or whatever. Uh, how am I gonna end this? Uh, you gotta fight the hangover so that you can get here early. So that you can get your little M65 jacket for, you know what I mean, junior ROTC training and shit. Type shit, type shit. 261 Broom Street, 8012 and a half Melrose, Luke's MIC.